Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 6th of November where I choose just one of our many potential fifth wave trades both long and short on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So in our members area here we can see we can flip from short to potential longs and click on the spreadsheet for today and download it and it looks something like this. So this is the potential longs at the bottom of the spreadsheet. You can see here 60 minute is highlighted. That's what we're going to look at today. Also, there's potential longs on the daily and the weekly time frames on the bottom of that tab there. So let's have a look at one of these TWLO on the 60 minute for a potential long. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for MultiCharts, TradeStation and NinjaTrader. So first of all here, this is the hourly time frame, the 60 minute time frame for TWLO and it goes 30 days back. I isolated the bar count by just putting our start count indicator at zero. And as you can see here, it's counted this uh, bearish move we've had a correction then we've had another little bearish move and this is where we are now we're in a bullish move it has pulled back and that's what we're interested in right now this pullback so let's have a closer look at where we are right now okay so first of all for our stock scanner membership we've got three main filters here we've got a wave four pullback against the main trend that's happened here uh, we found support in our automated probability zones this is in the red zone so it's found support in our last chance saloon if you like 75% uh, probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue the next filter is the 535 oscillator this is the top uh, of the sub charts here and during this third wave move we've pulled back between 19 and 140% uh, and then we have the stochastic indicator this is our false breakout stochastic bar on the top in the middle of the sub charts here so the, the yellow dots here denote strong bullish move and then the stochastics pulled back against there uh, and we are looking to move back to that main bullish momentum this bottom subchart is part of our uh, day trading add-on. I just use this multiple time frame dot indicator to show me the main bullish trend here in dots. This is the uh, weekly time frame and we're in the cloud in the cyan here at the moment on all the other lower time frames going down to this hourly time frame. So let's have a close look at the potential entry here. Again, the wave force found good support, but we need to make sure it moves above our uh, W5T EMA cloud this cloud you can see running through so we combine this with our fib pulls up pullback zones here to to find a good support or, or in this case we want to be back above the cloud for the entry also above the 64 moving average high which is part of our indicator suite for our entry for the first bar position for today's trading session so quite simply we need a little bit of a gap up and a move up through 73.44 is my entry long on TWLO on the 60 minute time frame uh, targets 80.41 and the stop loss a uh, little bit more conservative here I want to get below the whole um, dollar mark here below the whole $70 so I've gone for a stop loss around about 69.88 that still gives us a risk to reward of one to two into automated target zone there so really great risk to reward conservative entry we're, we're way above the cloud we're above the 6-4 moving average high for the first bar position uh, so sensible entry there uh, and that's it it's very very simple from our stock scanner membership uh, using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we look for these potential fifth wave moves on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.